Hi guys, how are you this evening? I hope your day has been fantastic. Hey look, I've just finished a um, a celebration demo, did an amazing stroganoff with some brand new owners, which was super exciting, but you know, stroganoff and doing high heat sometimes leaves your bowl with burns. And even with our TM31 and TM5, you'd know that sometimes you get burns in your bowl. So let me show you the best and easiest way to get those burns out super duper quickly. So let me spin this camera around, show you my TM6 and take you to see how to do this. Now, come on around here to my messy kitchen and have a look at the bowl. You can see there's some decent marks in the bottom. I have done a pre-clean, a universal pre-clean that we have on our TM6, but you can see that there's still some decent black marks on there. Um, they know they come off a little bit, but it's going to take some elbow grease. I don't like elbow grease, so instead I'm going to put two, two ingredients in. Um, one is water, so that's super easy. You're going to need about a centimetre of water in there, just enough to cover the blades. It's about a cup. And then we're going to put in citric acid. If you don't have citric acid on your shopping list, do yourself a favor and do this. This trumps all other ways of cleaning your Thermomix. So one tablespoon of citric acid. I'll try and put a little bit on the actual burns. And what, what I mean by trumps it all is there's no need to try and do lemon wash or eggshell wash or vinegar wash because this will do it. All right. Might just put a little teeny bit in. I want to just take that bit off the top of the blades. Otherwise, it's not going to be used. There we go. So now I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to come down to my thermo mix. By the way, made a beautiful stroganoff tonight. It was just yummy. Um, it's this recipe here. Where is it? Recipe details. Yum. That one. Even with cabbage on top. So it's really healthy. Anyway, let's get out of that over here. So we go here on our TM6 to our kettle mode. And we, it's already on 100 degrees, so we just activate it and off it goes. So it's going to take approximately a minute and a half, two minutes, maybe closer to three. I put a little bit more water in than I'm used to putting in there before this is actually boiling. Now, if you have a TM31 or a TM5, that's where you're going to use Varoma. Probably need to put on it seven minutes, I'm guessing, maybe five. Have a look and see. You'll know when it's up to temperature because with the TM31, your numbers stop flashing on the the temperature dial and on a TM5 we've got a constant little number on your home screen you can't see it here because I'm not on the driving screen but you, you've got a constant number above um, this will just keep going on the kettle mode and it heats up really quite fast it's using our high heat function so when that's done what do you do you get your trusty spatula and you wipe it around the bottom now the bowl will be hot the water will be hot it will be the hundred degrees in there so be really careful but you're just giving it a wipe around in there and then it'll literally wipe out and be done okay just on that note of my other favorite bits and pieces for cleaning let me just come over here i do love from the mix shop the good old scrubbing brushes okay mine's quite dirty you can see they come in different colors these days i did love the wooden ones i had out for a while i think they're still there my wooden ones live in the caravans they have like an, an environmentally friendly one i earned a pack of four of those other colored ones the other thing that's one of my favorites is the, the um scrubbies i don't know if you've ever seen the scrubbies the euro scrubbies but they get everything off anything. It's just amazing to clean with the Euro Scrubby. I was just wiping my, washing my hand after doing that. So they're my kind of favorite go-tos. And you'll find at the end when this is finished, it's boiling and you've wiped it out. Tip out the water, rinse it out with cold so it's not hot and not going to burn yourself. And then if you need to, get the Scrubby in there. But you'll find it actually just lifts off. You'll even find by the end of this as it boils, it'll actually, you'll see that it will um, lift off as well. Just a little FYI, it's also how you clean your kettle. So if you need to descale your kettle, it's citric acid for the win as well. Now you can buy citric acid at the supermarket, um, although you can also go to the health food shop and buy it in bulk because it's a cleaning product there and it will save you a bit of money by buying it in bulk. Now this is nearly done. I'm very tempted to actually, I wasn't going to keep it to the end, but since we're so close to being done, you can see it's at 90 degrees. I might see if I can one-handedly show you how to clean this. So it won't be long now. But anyone want to put in the comments, do say hi if you're watching, but put in the comments if you've actually uh, got citric acid or what's your favorite cleaning tip. I know some people swear by the lemon and the vinegar or the eggshells. Um, I have done them in the past if I don't have citric acid. However, they do take a bit of elbow grease still, whereas this one just lifts it off beautifully. Look at this, 100 degrees. There it is. How quick is that? I love the speed that the TM6 does things. <laughs> I love the lights and the reflection too. Look at these lights reflecting up here <laughs> from my head, my light. Oh, there we go. Somebody mentioned once, hello, Karen, about my Thermomix shines like music notes. Can you see the music notes on my Thermomix? 
I thought that was very clever of them to notice that. So here we go. Let's just put this in here. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. Now, if it is really stubborn and really burnt on, I'd actually leave it sit for a while. I'd just leave it sit here. But let's just see if I can do this without do it one-handed. Look at that. Can you see just lifting off? It's just lifting off all around there. So it's as simple as doing that. In all honesty, I do love my TM531 spatula for getting this off. It's a bit more rigid, so it just lifts off a bit easier. But you just see that's just coming off there easily as. And the other thing I do with this citric acid is it just comes back to a really nice clean, like a brand new clean because of the acid in it. You know how sometimes you end up with a bit of a film on your bowl and stuff? This will bring it back to new. I'm not doing a very good job of scraping it flat on the end here. Too many uh, not having spare hands, but it comes off. You see it flaking off? It'll just all lift off beautifully. Now, um, one more thing. Do remember, of course, it's hot. You can see it's really, really hot. So be careful with the hot stuff in there. Don't go putting your hand with a scrubby in there to do that. Make sure you wash it out, rinse it out, and then wash it out really well because if you go and use something with milk in it afterwards, it's going to curdle your milk because it's a really strong acid. And one more tip for the road is try not to get it on your, on your plastics. Um, it will take the color out of it. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen around the place people's handles that have grown grey and they actually go grey usually from dishwashing tablets of all things or hard water. Um, we don't want to spill it on there because, yeah, it'll take the colour out of it potentially. So don't want to do that. And then you're spending all day oiling it trying to get your, your handles back to a nice black again. So just be careful where you actually pit, tip it out. Straight down the sink is preferable. Otherwise, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to put my blue scrubbing brush into that now. Give it a wiggle, jiggle, rinse it out, and it's good to go for later. But otherwise, guys, that's it for me tonight. No cooking tonight because I was doing the demo. If any of you guys wanted to have a demo online and cook together, learn some more about your family mix, get some host rewards, uh, do shout out. I'd love to support you to get more out of your family mix and inspire those around you with what a family mix can do to change their kitchen as well. But otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow night for some more cooking from my kitchen. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.